Hello, everyone. Hi, Hi everybody. Hey, we'll be starting in a couple minutes, all right? So just yeah. hang tight just, for a couple seconds. Yeah, we'll just give everybody to, just a couple more minutes to join the chat, and then we'll be starting with our presentation. Actually, while we have you guys here, all right, um, there is a chat feature like Marguerite just said. So if you ever have any questions, please use that chat feature and ask us. Um, we will be taking questions after this presentation is over. Um, and we want all that, we, that you guys have. Uh, we really want to answer them. We want you guys to be as prepared as possible. God bless you. <laughs> Yeah. Those are you. Yeah. It's recording. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be on the side. That's fine. I don't want to get it. Okay then. Just another reminder for, for all you guys. Can you um, just move the this the session is being recorded, just so in case you couldn't, uh, people couldn't make it, they're going to be seeing it. Just so you know, this is being recorded. Um, so yeah, that's another thing, another disclaimer. <laughs> Do you want to get started? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we're just going to get started now. Um, if people are going to be joining in, the session again will be recorded and will be posted on our website either later today or tomorrow. Um, so be on the lookout for that. All right, guys. So again, we appreciate you coming out and listening to our Falcon live chat. Um, we're so excited um, just to be welcoming you guys in just a matter of weeks. It's almost here. I can't believe it. I don't think we can believe it. <laughs> yeah. We worked really hard over these past couple of days and weeks to get ready for you guys. Um, and we just want to give you guys an overview of what it really is like to be a Bentley Falcon today. Um, a lot of different components to what it is like to be one. Um, my name is Rob. Uh, this is Tyler, Gabby, and Margarita. And yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Sorry, difficult to... Just. There, there we go. Sweet. Just um, yeah, just to reiterate, uh, my name's Gabby. Um, we are all four of us are juniors here at Bentley. Um, so I'm a major of uh, IDCC is a the abbreviation, but it's an information design and corporate communication um, with a minor in marketing and I'm from Dixels, New York. And I'm Rob. Um, I'm majoring in corporate finance and accounting. I'm one of the hybrid majors here at Bentley. I'm also part of Bentley's BSMS program, where I'm going to be getting my master's of science and finance by my fourth year. Um, I'm also from Lexington, Massachusetts, uh, 15 minutes away. <laughs> hey guys, uh, my name is Margarita. I'm majoring in accounting and minoring in computer information systems, and I'm from Staten Island, New York. And I'm Tyler. Uh, I'm also majoring in finance. And like Rob, I'm in the four year bachelor master program. For finance, and I'm from Bethpage. Oh, <laughs> um, so your orientation journey begins on August 22nd. You will be moving in that morning with your assigned move-in times, um, depending on where you're living and what building. Um, again, we are the student coordinators. We've been here the entire summer trying to prepare, to prepare and prep. For your arrival, um, we are excited to have our team come in less than a week. Um, this Sunday, all of our orientation leaders, our OLs, will be arriving, and we are super excited to get them through training um, and then in preparation for you all to arrive on the 22nd. Um, after the 22nd, um, after you move in, you'll be able to get lunch with your families, um, and at 3 o'clock, you'll have convocation. Um, after 3 o'clock uh, convocation ends, you'll be able to say your goodbyes and then head off to orientation for the next four days. Um, we are super pumped because that will be your first day you will meet with the orientation leaders. So it's a great way to uh, get to know more people around campus, um, to learn more about campus itself um, and all the things you will be doing for the rest of the four days. Um, so as for living on campus, uh, you guys should have uh, received your room assignments on July 27th. Um, as first year students, you will be either living in Tree, Slade, or Miller buildings. Those are all first year uh, buildings only. Um, if you have a roommate or two roommates, um, you should coordinate with uh, them which items 
uh, you will be bringing, for example, like a fridge or a TV or a microwave, because you don't want to end up with like two fridges or two microwaves, um, kind of, although the rooms are pretty spacious, you kind of want to be conscious as to what you're bringing. Um, so for the individual tips, um, as for first year students, you are not allowed to have your car on campus for the first year unless you get an permit for from university police. If you have um, some special um, needs as to like leaving for work or something else, you just have to talk to them about that. Um, in addition, we um, advise people to have their doors open when they're in the first year buildings. That way you can just say hi to your floor mates and kind of um, make new friends like that. Um, in addition, we always say that it's good to have a shower caddy so you have something to carry uh, your shower stuff in. Um, although your uh, bathroom and shower might be in the same hall as you're living in, um, you might not have that ability, so you would have to walk over to the next hall, which is absolutely fine. But those are just the things we um, make you consider and kind of think about. So next we're going to talk a little bit about uh, dining on campus. So as a first year, you're going to have two options for your meal plan. You can either get the unlimited plan or the value 15 plan. So both consist of swipes and discretionary dollars, and both are also very similar in price for the semester. So an unlimited plan, uh, as it sounds, you get unlimited swipes into the 921 dining hall. And that is our one and main dining hall on campus. And with a swipe, you can go in, take as much, as little food as you would like. Um, a swipe can also be used at Russo's Market to get a take five for lunch, which consists of a sandwich, snack, drink, and a dessert. And you can also use a swipe up on upper campus in between classes if you want to grab a quick bite to eat at La Cava or Lower Cafe. So discretionary. Uh, on the other hand, this, or known as discretion, as for <laughs> Bentley students, uh, this is more of a declining balance. So at our retail locations such as Corito or The Nest on Lower Campus or Russo's Market for more different subs or even Main Bowl, uh, there's a whole bunch of different options. Uh, so you start with a set amount at the beginning of the semester. If it's unlimited, you get 350. If it's the value 15, you get 375. And really, you just get to use it for as much as uh, the semester allows. And also remember, though, that the balance will end at the end of the semester. So try to use up as much of it as you <laughs> yeah. can. Absolutely. So next, we're going to talk about academics, uh, the reason we are here at Bentley. So mm -hmm. the main necessity for academics is definitely Blackboard. Um, with Blackboard, this is the technology hub of academics, professors, will update course uh, schedules, uh, the syllabus, uh, and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, even homework assignments you can submit through Blackboard. Uh, just make sure that you're constantly checking it because it does give a lot of valuable information. So also at Bentley, we're unique in the sense that most classes consist of group work and a lot of it. <laughs> so no need to fret. But at Bentley, we don't just believe in tests and papers. We really do value um, the interaction and collaboration with uh, other students because in the business world, it's going to be a lot of group work. So we really do value that here. So you really want to make sure that you get on top of uh, getting group mates numbers, uh, coordinating schedules, finding that right meeting time that you can meet either once a week or bi weekly or whatever the class demands. But uh, it's always good to stay proactive, making sure that you're staying on top so you don't let the uh, other members of the group down. And finally, we always get a lot of questions regarding textbook purchasing, specifically when to purchase textbooks. Um, a good rule of thumb at Bentley when you take your general business courses, which you'll be taking all four years, but specifically in your first year, you'll be taking general business 110, which is business law, and then 112 and 212, which are the accounting and finance courses. Those professors all use the same te textbook and they all use it extensively. So those you can pre-order either online or like through the Bentley bookstore, or you can even get it on campus, but you're definitely going to need those textbooks. Um, as far as other electives go and general education requirements, major, minor courses, those really vary on a per professor basis. 
So um, our advice is always to go to the first few classes and then um, have the professor tell you which textbook you need. So um, now I'm going to touch upon just like, you know, different study tips and spots here on campus, especially as a Bentley student, uh, what we all prefer and like. Um, our probably number one tip for you all is to plan ahead. Um, within your first week here, you'll be given a syllabus for pretty much all your classes. Um, and it's a great way to kind of look at the entire semester and to see when all your deadlines are due for either assignments or for any of your exams and, every, and every, pretty much anything like that. Um, so it's great to have a way to organize all of it, maybe into one master sheet or to print them out, all the syllabus put on the calendar. Um, a lot of students here like to use their calendar through their email, which is the Office 360 um, email. And it's a great way to even set up meetings as well as Tyler mentioned, the group meetings are huge here. So it's, um, it's a great way to stay organized and whatnot. Um, also some kids uh, prefer Google, uh, the Google Calendar uh, one as well. So there's different ways you could uh, organize yourself. Um, also, there's um, a concept called uh, office hours here at Bentley, um, which is when your professors will outline specific dates throughout the week. So it could be maybe Thursdays at 2 to 3 p.m. Their office will be open um, where you could just walk on in, um, ask some questions, chat with them, um, whatever the case may be. Um, Bentley pretty uh, they're pretty open with anything uh, and they're pretty flexible, especially the professors here when you're trying to um, schedule an appointment. So let's say uh, Thursday is at two to three, you're busy. Um, you can just email your professor and they are great with accommodating your uh, schedule and working around your, um, your other plans. Um, and lastly, it's very important to take notes here. Um, especially with everything going on. Um, it also helps you stay engaged as well. Um, the class styles here that many professors teach in is a balance between lecture and discussion. Um, also professors love to make their classes interactive and participatory. So it's great for you to get to know your other classmates that way and to also even get to know your professors a little more. Um, some, uh, some more information on helpful spots on campus. Um, it's a great way to uh, to kind of do well in these general business courses or the uh, required classes is when you utilize the resources on campus. So um, listed below, there are many uh, spots where if you need help with the class, you could go to this spot and get more information. Um, so the ACE Lab, which is located in Lindsay Hall, is a great source um, to help out with any GB 112 or GB 212, your general business courses. Um, the Math Center located in Jenison, if you ever need help with any of your math, uh, 123, 126, 131, anything of that, uh, you can just walk on into the Jenison room, uh, they'll help you out there. The Writing Center is located in the library. Um, the ESOL Center is also in the library. The CIS Sandbox um, is the uh, Computer Information System Sandbox. It's located in Smith on the second floor. It helps you out with the IT 101 class, Great freshman year. I know I was there. Most of us are all there. <laughs> um, and then if you have any uh, computer issues, like uh, the computer you get from Bentley, um, the help desk in the basement of the library, they will help you out with any issues that you have, whether even if you damage your computer, you can go to them and they will repair it for you. Um, but it's only with your Bentley issued computer, not with your personal computer. Lastly, the study spots on campus. It's pretty much a preference on whatever you most feel comfortable in. I personally need uh, I can't work in dead silence. So the library for me isn't the greatest spot, but I know um, some, of, some of my fellow uh, SUCOs, they enjoy the library as well. Um, you could rent out study rooms. You could um, go to uh, some common areas within your first year halls. Um, I personally love to work at the tables down here in the student center, just cause I like to, you know, stay engaged and like be in the social atmosphere, but also like be able to do my work. I like the nice balance of that. So yeah, now I'm gonna to talk to you guys about some of the ways you can get involved on campus. This is a, a topic that's very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love this about Bentley. Um, I think that we really have something for everyone here. Um, and something that while we're here for academics primarily, this is a really good way to enhance your experience while you're here at Bentley. Um, as you can see, um, that's glaring on the screen is that we have a hundred plus clubs and organizations on campus. Um, so there's really something for everyone and um, of all interest levels, um, but if you really want to start something yourself and you don't really find anything, you can also start your own student organization as well. 
And uh, Bentley's very open to that as well. So that's pretty special as well. Um, in terms of some of the statistics, I think that it's really cool that one in three Bentley students are involved in, in a student org. Um, so I, what I suggest to you guys is really start to, to connect us with someone, maybe your orientation leader, um, and ask them what they're involved in, because most likely they're going to be involved in something that you may like, or they can direct you to someone else who um, can uh, give you further information about that. Um, also, one in 10 are serving as on an executive board position. So here at Bentley, the clubs are not just all general members. There's an executive board that um, is uh, has a group of people that are more distinguished, per se. Um, it includes people like the president, vice president, secretary, and they basically are the ones that make all the decisions for the club organization. Um, another benefit to joining a club organization is um, we've seen that it really helps um, in terms of your GPA as well. Um, while we're not doing it primarily for that, it really just shows the value that it can have um, on your experience here. Um, and so during your first week, you actually are going to have an activities fair on, on the Friday that you're here. Um, the picture below um, was at the activities fair two years ago when we had our centennial anniversary. And so that there was tables at the activities fair made out to be 100 because of our 100th anniversary. And as you can see, there's people dotting those tables, um, really going from each um, activity to the other and learning about them. Um, at these fairs, this is where you'll sign up for the clubs. Um, I want to stress, though, that this is not a commitment when you sign up. It's really just an interest. Um, when I went to my first activities fair, I don't know if they did this, but I signed up for almost every single one. Um, <laughs> that probably wasn't the best idea. I got inundated with emails. Um, but um, really what that showed me was that the ones that I wasn't um, too um, hype on at first, I actually ended up being the clubs that I'm joining, and I really have grown to love. Um, over the years. And so my point with this is really try to um, try new things and, and try clubs that you may not um, think to, that you're going to join at first. Um, so as you can see, there's different categories for clubs. <laughs> there's a lot of them. I'm going to just go through a couple, but um, there's academic clubs. Um, for example, there's the Bentley Investment Group, um, where you can invest in stocks. Um, there's also the Bentley Trading Society, Microfinance Group, Venture Capital, <laughs> um, among others. Um, um, I have a link down at the bottom where you can look at all the list of organizations on campus. Um, and that's the Bentley Speak site, which I'll um, get to a little bit later. Um, there's also Greek life, cultural clubs, um, athletics, um, religious and spiritual life. This includes some of our service um, groups on campus like Habitat for Humanity. Um, there's governance. Um, if you're we're in student government in your high school, you can do that here. Arts and media, there's um, the dance crews on campus, Project CI, um, and we'll get to those um, a little bit later, um, and class cabinet as well. Um, so those are just a few of them, but definitely look at that link if you want some more information about that and how to get involved. Um, going more off campus involvements, I think it's very important to mention the office that really propels um, student involvement, which is SPE, um, Student Programs and Engagement. Um, this is an office that really helps student orgs and as they really serve as advisors to the student organizations and really help them with their programming and all the events they have during the year. However, they also sponsor night events for students as well. Um, as you can see in just these two photos, um, we they sponsor um, what is known as our fall concert. And last year it was actually Little Dicky, so that was pretty cool. Um, and to the left, um, another example was um, laser tag. That was another event that we had night. But literally, there's so many. There's like an arcade night where you can go and um, play on the pinball machines and stuff like that. It's really, really cool what they come up with. Um, and so that's it. Um, and like I said, they have their site, um, BentleySpeak.com. Um, they have photo galleries if you want to see what these events were for like from last year. They also have um, student blog posts. Tyler and I actually just submitted one about our time about stu as student coordinators if you're interested. Um, not a shameless plug or anything, but, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but there's all different. My point is there's a, it's a great way for you to really know what the vibe is on campus and um, um, what other people are doing. Um, another thing I want to mention is that this year for our, our name tags, every orientation leader is going to have one. And as you can see in the bottom right, there's an example of one of them. And it looks like a rainbow of colors. I don't know if you can read it, but each one is a different category of something that the orientation leader is involved in. So I really would use that as an opportunity for you to spark a conversation with your orientation leader and really get to know how they got involved in stuff. Um, so that's great. Um, and so now I also want to go into a little bit of our experiences as well, um, if, uh, just, just to give you guys a little bit of flavor. So I mentioned this already, but um, I'm a part of Bentley Student um, Government Association on campus. I'm also part of the Bentley Investment Group, and I do the Bentley Relay for Life as well. Yep. So uh, with Rob, I'm on the Student Government Association, and it's really cool because students, or administration takes the students' voice seriously. So um, Bentley really prides itself on that student involvement. Um, also, Rob alluded to it earlier, uh, Bentley has a very large uh, Greek life presence on campus. And uh, I would say it's, it's not huge, but it's around 18 to 20% of students. And it really is just uh, an incredible community between all the philanthropy work uh, that we do. We have 
eight fraternity chapters and now four sorority chapters with a new one coming in the fall. Uh, also part of the uh, men's volleyball club, or it's a club sport, <laughs> uh, which is good because it's a, it's a hybrid between competitive and recreational if you're not looking to play at a varsity level. Um, so I'm a part of Project Creative Industries. It's one of the um, arts and media clubs here on campus. Um, it's a great way to help promote the arts within campus. So uh, what we do is we host events um, throughout the year, um, whether that's our showcase in the fall where we have a bunch of different um, student artists, um, either maybe like some fashion vendors come and it's a great way to just promote more of that artistic um, like ideas and um, and to kind of spark some creativity within our Bentley focused community. Um, and I am also a varsity sport athlete. Um, I am a part of the women's softball team. Um, so I am heavily involved in service learning and civic engagement on campus. Um, if you guys want more information on that, please sign me <laughs> during orientation. <laughs> um, I am also involved in Bentley Real Life Life with Rob and I'm on conduct board for Bentley. So as you can see, just from us, you can just ask us about any of our involvements. Um, feel free to ask us anytime. So now going on, we're gonna talk about a little bit about Spirit. Um, here at Bentley, um, as you can see from the photos below, um, it's really, um, people really like to get decked out here. We really have a lot of pride in our school, um, especially at the sports games. Um, one of the organizations on campus that really, um, I guess, um, helps out with the Spirit and really promotes um, this, this um, pride in our school is um, Falcon Fanatics. Um, this is a student club that I'm actually a part of, um, and it's focused on fostering and promoting school spirit at um, Bethlehem Athletic Games. Um, and so basically what we do is um, we help to host pregame events before the games. So before the first hockey game in the arena, we had something in Harry's Pub. Um, you guys will know where that is once you get here, but it's basically in the bottom floor of the student center. And there we had um, game, lawn games in, in, actually in the pub. <laughs> we had, we had um, food out and it was just a really good time for people to, to um, you know, enjoy themselves before going to the game and really get hyped up. Um, we also are responsible for going there and, start, and starting the cheers and really getting the um, crowd really hyped up um, during the games. Um, so this is a really good club to join if you're all about spirit. Mm -hmm. um, um, but yeah, everyone who goes to the games is awesome. Um, and then also I put down Bentley swag as well. I don't know if you saw our Instagram live event, um, but that's me down in the bottom corner in the bookstore, rocking some Bentley swag. Um, you <laughs> see, uh, it's very rare that you don't see people rocking it around campus. Um, I would definitely check it out there and definitely get your Bentley swag. Um, so now I'm just going to walk you through a little bit the orientation program schedule so you guys uh, can have a little preview of what to expect when you guys move in on the 22nd. Um, so the first day, the Wednesday, when you guys move in, that's when you're going to kind of start your day. Um, then we're going to move on to convocation at 3 o'clock in the Bentley Arena on Lower Campus. Um, next, you guys are going to meet your orientation groups for the first time, meet the orientation leaders, meet your entire group. Um, then we're going to meet uh, your floor and then your entire building. And every single night is capped off with some kind of social programming. It honestly varies from night to night. So um, some things you might see throughout orientation, we're going to have a hypnotist, we're going to have a Bentley Black Party, um, and just much more programming. Food trucks. Food trucks, yeah. just a bunch of long games, and kind of an opportunity for you to meet new people, meet new friends, and kind of see who actually is a part of your class of 2022. Um, on Thursday, we're going to start off with Bentley Beliefs. Uh, we're going to go over those and kind of what we value here at Bentley. Um, that is also about building community and kind of setting your goals. What do you want to accomplish while you're here at Bentley? Or what kind of set you up um, for um, where you are now? And then again, like I said, we're going to cap off that night with some social programming. So next we have uh, the next three days. So on the 24th, um, that day is all about academics. So during that day, you're actually going to have an opportunity to sit in on the class and see what it's like to be a Bentley student. Um, the, some of the professors are preparing awesome presentations to give you guys um, to kind of see what a casual class would look like. Um, that day, you're also going to be getting your Bentley uh, laptop. So whatever, whichever one you chose earlier this summer, that's where you're getting. Um, we're going to go over some community expectations and safety uh, tips wherever, if you live on campus and if you don't live on campus, that's also fine. Um, 
again, we're going to cap off the night with some social programming, another opportunity for you to meet new people, new friends, kind of hang out with the friends you already made. Um, on Saturday, we're going to move on to strengths. Um, so if, you've, if you have not completed the strength finder, please do so immediately. Um, those are really, really, really important. As you, we don't want to leave you guys out if you have not completed the strength, so it would be nice if you did. Um, that's it. You also can learn about getting involved on campus. So like Rob was talking about different the clubs and organizations we have, those will be uh, represented in the student center and more information to come. Um, on Sunday, we're going to have our first ever Dean's Case competition. It is absolutely optional to um, all undergraduate students. You do not have to participate, but if you are interested, please be on the lookout for more information, the sign up forms. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to kind of start your Bentley um, um, road and start it off with this great case competition. It actually is um, a lower scale competition of a something called Bentley Business Bowl. So it's a larger scale case competition that takes place during the year and you will be seeing a lot of marketing materials for that. But I think it's just a good way for students to get involved even during orientation. And then we're going to have some optional activities like basketball, volleyball, a ping pong tournament and pool tournament in the student center. And we're also gonna have opportunities to explore um, the city of Waltham and Boston. Um, I'm going to now touch upon the athletics portion of uh, the life here at Bentley. Um, within the varsity sports, we have 21 varsity teams. Um, listed below, we have men's and women's, um, and our ice hockey team is Division One. The rest are all Division Two, and we are all super excited now that the Bentley Arena is here that we can now get super hyped for all of um, our hockey games um, and really cheer on the team and support them. Um, and then after that, we also have club sports and intramural sports. The club sports are listed below. Um, all of them are uh, super great. Um, I feel like they most of the sports here can suit anyone's uh, physical needs. Uh, we have a great variety. Um, but the main focus that I want to touch upon is the intramural sports. Um, here at Bentley, they are very, very popular. Um, <laughs> by sectioned uh, into different seasons. So we have the fall, winter, and spring seasons. Um, I know all four of us have, have participated at least once in one of these, um, uh, in one of the intramural sports. They can become very popular, um, especially and very competitive, but it's a great way to de-stress from all your G, uh, general business GB work that you will have throughout the semester. I know that for me, I put together, me and my friends put together a team for volleyball and we uh, battled it out with all the other teams here at Bentley. So it was a great time for all of us. And uh, now Tyler and I, and the rest of us are gonna give you guys some final words of advice, um, some things to think about um, before you come to this experience and also while you get, when you, once you get here. Um, the first thing we wanted to mention is just make time for self-care. Um, you're gonna have a lot of new responsibilities, a lot of different things thrown at you in the first couple of days and throughout your first year and even throughout your career <laughs> in college. Um, but it's just really important that you make time for yourself at the end of the day and um, take time for wellness opportunities. Um, we're gonna start you off um, with a couple that we have come up with um, for during orientation. We have some wellness opportunities that you guys can get involved in, such as going to the Dana Center gym to um, pump some weight or uh, go, to the, go to the track to, to run around. Um, it's really anything you want to, but we it's a really good way to get start getting into a routine um, and take time for yourself. Um, and then secondly, um, this is, uh, I've heard you, I'm sure you've heard this before, but going to college is a, is a clean slate. It's a new opportunity, new people. Um, we suggest that you break out of your comfort zone and try something new. Um, you never know what's gonna come of it. Um, and maybe you can grow as a person because of it. And you often do. So that's a really, really good aspect as well. Yeah, I mean, we really can't reiterate it enough. Um, breaking out of your comfort zone is so important. Um, there's so many clubs I joined on campus that I never <laughs> thought I would in a million years. So um, really just take that extra leap. Um, but in the same breath, like, it's okay to ask for help every once in a while. Uh, come to Bentley, it's going to be a brand new experience. You're going to be taking classes with new students. You're going to be living with the same kids that are in your classes. So, again, if you can't do it all, it's okay to ask for help. Uh, we have plenty of resources here at Bentley that can help. Um, with that, just be yourself. I know we like to say the phrase, take off your cool hat. Um, again, experience new things, break out of your comfort zone. Um, just don't just stick to your values. You can, it's okay to be yourself. 
Um, and this kind of goes with a lot of them, like breaking out of your comfort zone and stuff, but really try to explore. Um, we're very lucky in that we are only a 15 to 30 minute ride from um, Harvard Square, um, which can then translate you to going into Boston. And so really explore the surrounding area. We also have Moody Street around here too, um, as well, um, but also explore the campus as well. You know what I mean? Even though it's local, try to visit new offices, try to visit new spots on campus, really start to get to know it a little more. Okay. <laughs> Lastly, um, we encourage you all to fo follow us on Instagram, yes. us, Sucos, and the entire orientation team. We've been um, posting reminders, fun tips, fun hacks that we find that will be helpful for you all. So our Instagram handle is at Welcome Falcons. Um, we're even doing a uh, photo contest to win free Bentley swag this month. So uh, details are on our Instagram, um, but please join. Um, it's awesome to get some free Bentley apparel. Um, also, if you have any questions or concerns or comments, you can always email us. Um, it's listed below as well as our phone number. You can come chat us on the phone. Um, and then lastly. Um, so lastly, uh, we've been working on this app called the Yap app. Um, so this app is really designed for you guys to use. There's the entire schedule of the entire orientation program will be on there. Um, all of your meeting spots for your um, floor meetings, orientation groups will be on there. And just all the sessions, the description for them um, will be on there. So if you uh, just uh, download it, just type in the Yap app into your um, the store, would it be the App Store or something else? And then once you uh, download the Yap app, you can just type in Falcons 2022, and that will lead you to the Bentley Orientation booklet. So if you have any questions, uh, we will now open the floor, and the ch so you can just drop them in the chat. It looks like um, we've got a bunch already. Um, that's great. Um, and yeah. also, just one thing that I wanted to add: um, definitely check out. We are coming out with our next edition of the newsletter. If you oh, read yeah. those, yes. the August newsletter. There's a barcode to the app app in that, yes. and also some other helpful information as well. Um, just wanted to let you guys know that as well. Yeah. It's another resource for you. So, if you, when you receive the newsletter and you will see the app app QR code, um, that is actually scannable through your Snapchat. So all you have to do is get the QR code on the camera and, and then hold on to it, and it's going to lead you to either download the app app at first, or it will lead you to the actual booklet of the orientation program. Very cool. All right, let's take some all right, questions. So let's see what let's these see what questions are. All right. So our first question is, do you think there's room for an additional chair in a typical double in Slade slash is it permitted to bring one? Um, so we actually uh, do allow um, extra furniture in the room. Um, it just depends upon the size. I would not suggest bringing like a lounge chair. <laughs> um, I don't think that would even fit in your first year dorm room, but um, I would say just see how big of a chair that is. If you're going to like something like Target and get like a basic like dorm room chair. I think that would absolutely fit. And just discuss it with your roommates yeah. upon this space because the roommates might be bringing something so you guys can coordinate or something like that. Um, I'm also gonna add that I know freshman year, what was very popular is those uh, cubes that you could store things in but also oh, yeah. sit on. Yeah. Um, those fit well into any first year dorms. Um, but Typically, it also depends on the layout of the room and how you and your roommates uh, will structure it. So exactly, and affordable bungee cord chairs as well. Those, those yeah, are, the those, bungee those, cord those, chairs. Those are really compact. Yeah, they can be fit anywhere. So. I know um, they take up a lot of space, but I'm a big fan of Yogi Bows. Yeah, <laughs> so. I had one in my room. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Awesome. Uh, yeah, we have a ton of questions oh coming in. So, how can I start a club? Oh What's the process? So, actually, um, just go to that Bentley Speak site. Um, it's going to have all the information for you, but there is a tab on that site that says that gives you, it's called resources, and it actually has an application process to do that. Um, the organization that um, it approves that um, on campus is the um, ABA, um, and that's a student run organization. Um, that's what, um, ABA, um, it's the activities, student activities board on campus. And so, um, in other words, just go through that process um, and try to get it approved. We wanna make sure that you are taking this seriously when you uh, make this organization. So it is a bit of a process, but um, if you're passionate about it, it usually gets approved. Mm -hmm. Next question is, will there be times during orientation when I can take breaks? This sounds like a lot. Um, so <laughs> there actually will be times where you guys can take breaks. Um, and once we finalize the schedule, uh, your orientation leaders will be great resources for that. 
Um, and also the YAP app uh, schedule will also be updated um, is, if we do have any changes. So just be on the lock, lookout on the, for the changes on the YAP app. Um, any advice on what clothes to bring? Should I bring anything formal? Um, I personally would say um, I, it's great um, as a first year student to have maybe one or two pieces that are more formal, um, especially when you're giving end of year presentations within your classes. Um, it's very common for Bentley students to, to see other Bentley students all dressed <laughs> up uh, to go to yeah. class. Um, it's a big thing here on campus. Um, also, the career fairs that happen mm -hmm. once a semester, um, that's a big day that everyone's all decked out in their uh, formal apparel and whatnot. Um, it's definitely not, uh, it's very, definitely very common. Um, I would say, I, personally, freshman year, I didn't wear it as much as I did sophomore year. Um, so that's why I, I would suggest like one to two types of uh, different like combos of co clothing. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I actually had a kind of a different experience rather than Gabby. Um, my freshman year, a couple of my uh, GB courses um, required me um, to uh, wear some form of clothing for our presentations as we did have a lot of them. Um, so I would suggest just bring a couple. You don't have to bring like an entire um, closet of um, like more formal clothes, but I would say just bring a couple of pieces of clothing. Like so that. the clubs like the Bentley Investment Group require you to wear it during pitches. So mm -hmm. if you ever think about doing something like that, it's always good to have something like that. And if you apply for a job on campus too, you always want something to show yeah. your best self. Yeah. Good point. And actually a follow up to that question, where do you think I should get an affordable winter coat? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good question. I'm a big fan of any coupons that I find for like major department <laughs> stores. <laughs> as uh, cheesy as that sounds, uh, I always just like, I search around the internet and find some awesome coupons at like, uh, I don't know, big Macy's, Macy's yeah. or Lauren Taylor. I feel like it, also their selection there is huge. Um, but yeah, definitely make sure you have a winter coat, winter boots here on campus. It snows a lot. Um, it gets cold. We're in the Northeast of the United States. So <laughs> definitely make sure you are prepared for that. Yeah. yeah. It'll last you a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you use it a good investment. It's a good investment. Yeah. Do students get free admission to athletic events, for example, ice hockey or football games? So every athletic event here um, is free uh, admission, but the hockey games. So, um, with the football games, with the basketball games, uh, field hockey, soccer, whatever the case may be, you can just walk on into the building or into the fields, like stands. Um, but with, with the hockey team, um, Margarita can actually tell you more about the <laughs> hockey tickets. Um, yeah, so the hockey tickets um, are actually $5 per student. Um, and then if you choose to purchase a uh, season ticket package, those may vary upon your um, seat in the arena. So you guys can uh, check that out. And if you want us to drop a link in the chat um, for those season tickets, we absolutely can. I got mine. <laughs> there we go. Bob knows what's up. When and where do I buy textbooks? So textbooks, uh, they can be bought actually in the bookstore when you're on campus and then online through the Barnes and Nobles uh, Bentley University website. Mm -hmm. uh, you can search the class that you're taking or the specific uh, number for the textbook and it'll bring you to exactly the right one to buy. We actually have that in our Instagram live event. We actually detail that process. So just check that out as well. On our Instagram. You can but catch me buying the GB112 textbook again. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, if you just want to access the website, uh, just Google Bentley Barnes and Nobles and it should pop up like with yeah. the first link. So it's uh -huh. super easy and quick to access. Yeah. And if you do use the Bentley Barnes and Noble, um, so the tab you're going to click is find textbooks and just make sure you put in the correct section mm -hmm. of your class um, that can be uh, found on my Bentley under the academics tab. So just make sure you put in the correct section because it might vary on the professor. So a professor might not require to get the textbook. So just be careful with that. We have another follow up question about the clothing. Oh, yeah. What about dances? Are those a thing that exist? So, I mean, I'm going to ask for some clarification. Do you mean like formal dressy dances? Like I'm going to get Follow up on formal clothing. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, so dresses like personally for me as a woman uh, in business, um, I have formal dresses that I would wear to events yeah. such as the career fair or any of my presentations. Um, I think it's very common to see other girls um, here or even guys, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, um, wear uh, any sort of long dresses. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you have anything. Um, events involved with, club, with clubs and organizations. I mean, Greek yeah. Life has some of them. Um, 
you have your athlete formal too, right, Gabby? Oh yeah. So, so you never know what you're going to get involved in. So I would just yeah. pack some just to make sure. But also don't feel intimidated uh, seeing a bunch of kids in suits. It's okay to wear sweatpants. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I have plenty of those. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. Are the laundry machines coin operated? Do they take bills? Do they need a big bag of quarters? I um, just changed the summer, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so um, as for laundry, uh, we actually do not use coins. Uh, we just upgraded our system this, pat this summer. Um, and we use this app called Laundry Connect Pay. Um, if you look it up in the app store, um, it should come up and you should register with your Bentley email. Um, it actually gives you free, um, two free loads when you first get your account, in fact, um, save you some money. And uh, from there, you will actually scan the QR code that are installed on the machines in your laundry room. So all you have to do is log in on the app and then um, come up to the machine, scan the QR code, and that starts the machine off for you. And you can um, upload the funds from a debit or a credit card, whatever you want to use. Um, to go off of that, uh, I know each load here at Bentley is priced differently. So you're sm if you have a few sets of a uh, piece of cl clothing in the washing uh, as a small load, that'll be 175, and then it goes up by 10 cents, so 185 for um, medium. medium load, and then 195 for your large load. Um, so it just depends um, on whatever you you, you need. <laughs> um, is there a men's golf? club golf or men's intramural golf? Yes. So there is actually, there is a um, men's golf club. Uh, they do roughly two tournaments per semester, plus a, um, just within the club, there's a scramble tournament at uh, one of the nice country clubs nearby. <laughs> Highly advise checking it out. It yeah. is fun. Just to clarify though, this is, even though it's a club sport, it is uh, like uh, Tyler was alluding to earlier, it's competitive. Um, you will have to probably go through a tryout process, but don't let that deter you. Obviously go for it. Next question is, what is the process for running for class cabinet? Class cabinet. Um, Margarita, aren't you on class cabinet? I am. Yes. <laughs> um, um, so for a uh, freshman, um, you will be getting more information um, once you arrive here. Um, so what you have to do, you're going to uh, get 100 signatures from uh, people from your class specifically. So I remember... Um, when I ran for class cap freshman year, I had to go around uh, trees, um, mm -hmm. Miller and Slade to get the signatures from people in my class. That just makes it a little more easier. Um, and then we have to do, when you get the signatures, you are going to bring that in into the SBME office or student and programming engagement office on the student center third floor. Um, and then um, you're going to be participating in the voting um, process, which takes place on my Bentley. Um, you'll be getting a lot, a lot of emails about that. So just be on the lookout. Yeah, more details to come, but this also includes a, a candidate statement as well. And people really take the opportunity to also yeah. make posters for themselves as well. Exactly. Um, sp &E really has some cool materials and poster materials. Yeah. So you can uh, obviously deck out and do what you want to do. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people take it pretty seriously yes. here, but just be on the lookout for more information to come. <laughs> This is a question specifically for Rob and Tyler. So you spoke a little bit about the program in which you're getting your master's at the end of your four mm -hmm. years. Did that restrict you from taking other courses that you wanted to take? And how does your schedule look? Good question. Yeah. So yeah. the way the four-year bachelor master program works, or known as the BSMS, uh, it was actually just unveiled this year. So we'll be in the inaugural class for it. The way it works, uh, <laughs> you still take your 121 undergraduate credits, and then it's going to be 10 graduate courses. However, you take four graduate finance courses to overlap with the undergraduate. So uh, you're really taking eight classes by only taking four. So it does get a bit crunched for time towards your junior and senior year. Um, it helps if you take classes from high school. Uh, however, it's not necessary. Uh, right now, it's specifically for uh, economics, finance, corporate finance and accounting, and finance. So yeah, that's basically, Tyler talked about it, but basically the only difference is that we are just, we are taking grad cap courses for our finance classes now. Um, and so obviously that's an extra load. Um, something to note though, is it's considerably cheaper than if you were gonna get your own master's degree outside. Um, we are graduating with that distinction already at a, ch at a cheaper price. We do have to take classes over some breaks, but um, we think it's gonna be worth it in the end. Uh, we don't know <laughs> what to expect because we're the uh, incoming class, yeah. but yes, definitely get involved. I think after your sophomore year, you can. Yeah, don't, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it freshman year. That's a sophomore year. <laughs> 
keep it on your mind. Keep it yeah. on your mind. Yep. Next question is, after I unpack my room on move-in day, can I drive around campus to get back and forth between events? Um, That's a good question. Um, so you will be receiving, um, when you move in, you will be receiving your room combos, you will be receiving your um, like different helpful like piece of paper or whatnot um, in your individual residence halls. And on that, it will outline the first day schedule along with the campus map. So here um, you'll be able to see um, what areas on campus um, you will need to get to. We all encourage you to take the Bentley Bridge, uh, as yes. we call it. Um, even throughout every day, like life at Bentley, we pretty much faculty members, staff members, students, we all take the bridge yeah. um, to go from upper to lower campus or lower to upper, depending on whatever way you're going. Um, but for move-in day specifically, uh, we would advise you to move, like once you go to your residential hall, you'll unload your car and then you'll bring your car to a parking lot just to get it out of the way and to help with the flow of traffic. And then after you move your car up to the parking lot, um, I would personally suggest to leave it there just because um, it's great to uh, like get that out of the way and just to focus on walking to the, the events because it's pretty much a five minute walk. It's not too yeah. far to get it to anywhere. Yeah, and just to, uh, to add on to it, uh, we will be uh, having trolleys available for people that do not want to walk from upper to lower. Um, so do not worry about transportation on campus that day. Um, it will get pretty packed as you will um, come to find out mm -hmm. um, because everybody's moving in. Although it's only first year students are moving in, it gets really crowded. Um, but just be on the lookout for the time that is assigned to you uh, specifically uh, because different buildings do move in at different times. Please stick to that time. Yes. yes. Yeah. Please stick to yes. that time. Please. We have a quick question that's a follow-up to the master's question that yeah. was already asked. Um, would I have needed to decide to do that already? No. Um, that's, you, have, you have some time. Um, I'm glad you guys are interested in that program, um, but that's a that's more of a sophomore year question rather than a freshman year. But definitely, yeah. definitely a, a guy that I would definitely reach out to is uh, Professor Claude Giacchetti, if you have any more information about that. Um, obviously ask us, but um, yeah, you don't go through the application process till sophomore year. So. Yeah, uh, make sure you like finance first. <laughs> that's another thing, that's too. Great point. Great point. Yeah. Um, is it possible to have a TV in Miller? If so, does it need to be on a stand or can I hang it up? Um, it's possible to have a TV in any of the dorm buildings. Um, personally, a lot of students at Bentley will put their TV on top of their desk. So your desk has your normal like area to work in, and then there's um, a little like a top section that's like really small, but it it it'll actually fits a, a TV. Um, so you don't need a big stand or anything. Um, you, we're not allowed to mount it onto the wall either, so I wouldn't suggest bringing uh, equipment or tools for that. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have anything else to add. Yeah, um, just to add on, so for the TV, we, um, as a Bentley student, you get a free cable. It's awesome. Um, yeah, it's a free cable subscription that's available when you sign in with your Bentley credentials, so your Bentley email and the Bentley password. Um, so just make sure you bring in a cable cord uh, to connect to um, the specific um, thing on the wall. <laughs> and if, you do, if you don't have a TV, it's not the end of the world. Yes. We actually have a subscription for all students to Xfinity on campus. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Um, which we can stream on your yeah. just on your laptop and get exactly. all those same channels and record stuff yep. as well. You have like 13 hours of recording. Let yeah. me tell you, I recorded all of Shark Week last week, so it worked. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Bentley hooked us up. <laughs> yeah, that was a great addition last year. We never had it. Like our, our freshman year, we did not have it, but last, last year was year. a hit and a half. <laughs> Is convocation for parents as well or just for students? Yes, we encourage parents to go too. I encourage say. siblings, yeah, friends, everybody. whoever's here. It's your Bring official everybody. start to Bentley, guys. It's your official start. You'll have new the new president, Allison Davis Blank, addressing you, among other um, high um, community members, and it's just a great opportunity to celebrate. Are the first year dorms dry? Um, they are, uh, <laughs> yep. So all the first year buildings are dry. Um, although we are a wet campus, um, we uh, do um, implement the policy in the first year buildings uh, because the students that are living there are under the age, the drinking age. So um, I will add to that your resident assistant or your RA uh, slash your resident director, your RD, yes. they will go over more in depth of like the rules and regulations around yeah. those restrictions. Exactly. Um, so are there a lot of showers in the dorms? Will I have to wait to take a shower in the morning? 
Um, honestly, I have never had an issue of taking a shower. And I know girls usually tend to take yeah. even longer than guys in the shower. Um, it might depend. <laughs> uh, just speaking from personal yeah. experience. But um, in each um, bathroom, there are three showers. At least. At yeah. least three showers. Um, and then you also have three bathroom stalls. And, and then two sinks. Three sinks. Three sinks. So, yeah. yeah. So you have three, three, three. So each um, gets everything. Um, but yeah, I have never had an issue of know. being in the shower or getting for, a sink. For me, I think maybe it happened twice where everything was taken, but I it, I waited like two to three minutes and something yeah. opened up. But that only happened twice throughout both the semester. Yeah, about the entire year. I don't know about yeah. you guys. Yeah, personally, I've never had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I think yeah. that's a good answer for this also is um, I guess depending on the time. If you're trying to do this at night when everyone else is trying to do it, there might be backlog, you know, a little bit of backload. The same with laundry. If you're trying to do your laundry on mm, Sunday, yeah. you might see a little bit of backload. I haven't experienced too many times of this, but <laughs> I, I tried to do. I have. I tried to do laundry on one Sunday, and boy, did I have to wait. So it's just it all depends on the time. I think at the end of the day, um, yeah, and you'll learn that as you get once you get to campus. Yeah, and for the laundry room, um, especially in trees, it's really, really big. Um, so honestly, I've never had a problem with laundry either when I was in trees. But okay, this question is for Tyler. How do I rush a fraternity? So Greek life, uh, as far as Russian goes, um, there'll be all the fraternities and sororities will be at the activities fair um, on that first Friday. So first year students can rush or go to the events to meet the brothers uh, and or sisters. However, uh, first year students cannot um, go through the new member process until their second semester at Benley because some of the requirements include establishing a Bentley GPA above a 2.7, uh, taking at least 15 credits. I know uh, there was a few issues last year. Uh, if you do want to rush Greek life or go through the new member process, you're gonna wanna make sure you take at least 15 credits in your first semester. Because if you drop one and go down to 12 credits, you won't be eligible to um, rush a fraternity or sorority. Great, thank you. Um, what's the difference between a regular and enhanced triple? So um, your enhanced triple is when all three beds are, are on the floor, so you have more room. Um, but, but between both the standard triple and the enhanced triple, you have the same amount of furniture. Um, with your standard triple, you will have one, one of the two sets of beds bunked and then another bed on the ground floor. Um, it's just a smaller, it's a little bit smaller room, but you will still, all three of you will have the same amount of desk space, uh, closet space, drawer space, anything with that. I want to live off campus after first year. Where do students tend to live if they commute? That's a great question. I would, um, a great off campus um, place. Um, I mean, there's a bunch of different apartment buildings in the, within the yeah. area. Um, North campus is an on campus option, but um, it is a, it's a, it's, it's kind of off campus. But so yeah. Really. Um, with North Campus, so all, we, out of all the buildings here on campus that you can live in, the North Campus apartments, there's four buildings total. Those are um, off of the Beaver and Forest Street dimensions. So um, it's a great way to kind of feel like you're off campus, but you're still relatively very close enough yeah. to still commute uh, within a reasonable amount of time, catch the Bentley shuttle, um, even walk to campus. Um, but I would say that the North Campus apartments are very popular with for Bentley students who want yeah. to have the off-campus feel, but still are relatively close. Um, yeah, and what I would suggest, I know a couple of people my freshman year wanted to do the same thing, and they actually joined the Commuter Association. Mm -hmm. um, those students are great for those resources. If you do want to join that, I'm sure they can give you advice on um, kind of where to find an apartment and for which prices. So maybe joining the Commuter Association will be very good for you. Yeah, to go off that though, don't count out living off campus just yet. Yeah. <laughs> um, at Bentley, we do offer housing all four years yes. and it's kind of remarkable how a lot of students take advantage of all four years. I know at other institutions, they may only offer for first and second year, but at Bentley, we offer for all four years and a heavy majority of students do yeah. stay on campus. Yeah, we are over 90% residential. So, so um, students it. really do take it pretty seriously on living on campus. I mean. Honestly, it just, the feel of the community that you get, I think that's one thing that attracts the majority of the students to stay on campus all four years. Is campus smoke-free? Yes. Um, so, uh, we have a no-smoke policy on campus. Um, um, that was, um, 
um, I guess instituted a couple of years ago. Um, so yes, Bentley is um, no smoking is um, yeah smoking is prohibited on the campus. Um, yep. And that goes for tobacco products, marijuana products, jewels, vapes, everything. XYZ. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, is the window legend trees deep enough to put a TV on it? Um, actually, the window? window? No, no. It's well, the AC is there. Yeah, the AC unit is I would not under. Put a TV on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would say specifically in trees, the way that most of the rooms are set up and just to maximize your space, the bed frames are going to be facing away from the windows. Mm -hmm. You're going to be facing yeah. towards the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And within the big wardrobe there's a cutout in the middle which, that has a mirror in the which, back but yeah, yeah that has um so like the two wardrobes and then in the middle there's a mirror that's probably a big popular spot to put yeah. in trees if not on your desks yeah um, miller and slade um do not have like the cutout in the wardrobe um, in the wardrobe yeah but i know a lot of students do put the tvs up top of your desk or even if you want to bring like a smaller kind of stand just communicate with your roommates and you i'm sure you guys can figure something out and then also speaking of um, housing things, are there microwaves in trees or should we bring one for the room? Um, there is actually, so trees has a common kitchen on um, the first floor. The ground the floor. The ground floor, There's sorry. Two of them. Um, to the laundry room. Yeah, so um, there, there's one microwave in there, but we are allowed to bring our own microwaves in the room. Um, those are one of the few electronic items you are allowed to bring. So um, if you're trying to bring like a toaster, um, I don't think that's yeah. gonna, I don't think that's gonna go with the housing department here. Uh, but just make sure you bring all the correct stuff. Yeah. And also coordinate with your roommate on that. Yeah, so you don't have exactly. two microwaves. Yeah. <laughs> we highly encourage bringing a mini fridge and a microwave. It just makes life a lot easier. And the yeah. um, and for rental, um, if you want to rent one, if you don't want to buy one, there's actually a link in the um, newsletter. So just check the August newsletter for that information. Yeah. More follow-ups with housing things. Are there ice machines in the dorms? Um, there are not icing machines in the dorms. Um, there are icing. Uh, there's one icing machine in the Dana Center. Um, and there's also, you can get ice in uh, the dining hall 921 in the student center. I mean, just, just a couple of it. Yeah, not like a, loads of yeah, ice. Yeah, not like loads <laughs> of ice, but you can still get it in small amounts. Does Slade have closets or exterior wardrobes for freshman double rooms? Also, is there a dresser? Yes. Um, yes, yes. And Slade has the wardrobe with the curtain. Um, and then there's also some, um, there's shelving oh, on top. Oh, here. We, okay, so I did. <laughs> She's got this one. I have this answer. Um, on our Instagram, there we go. posted our Bentley Live uh, chat. It's in our highlight wheel. Um, in that, we went into a trees double, we went into a Slade triple, and then we went into a Miller quad. Yes. Um, but with the Slade triple, I'm pretty sure that room is with the closet space and the, the drawers. Like, that's going to be the same throughout any room in Slade. So just check that out, and that it could give you a visual on what it is. Yeah, exactly. It's a good point that Gabby actually makes. Um, it's not going to do us justice to tell you guys yeah. off the top of our head. Really go and yeah. visit Instagram live events if you want to see, yeah. really get a feel you'll get of the room. A, yeah, you'll get the full visual and the video actually describes everything. And regardless if it's a uh, like a cutout closet or a wardrobe, uh, definitely bring nice hangers. Um, <laughs> I came to campus first year. I forgot all the hangers. <laughs> I put the clothing in the suitcase without taking the hangers. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a fun first call to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> so we have time for a couple of more questions. Yeah. So... Um, this question is, how do you stay active on campus besides sports? What is the Dana Center like? So, um, the Dana Center actually offers a lot of things, not only um, the gym, but there's obviously some food down there, um, Corrito, uh, the Nest, and we actually do offer some wellness opportunities throughout the year. So we have yoga classes, fitness classes. Um, Open open access to a certain like certain hours of the day for the pool yes the um pool. there's also dance studio, the dance yeah. studio in the dance slade studio. Yeah. um and even there's one in slade there's also one in the dana, in the dana center. center um but with the gym in the dana center you have two floors the first floor is primarily weights and then yeah. the second floor is all your cardio machines yeah. and then uh the regular basketball gym is actually available um to use too as long as the teams the varsity um teams are not using them you are more than welcome to use them um, that also goes for the football field, the field hockey, lacrosse field, um, the track. Um, I would suggest uh, going to the uh, activities fair on that first Friday because yeah. a lot of those, like, 
different clubs that kind of explore other wellness opportunities will be set out there. So you can totally see what campus has to offer. I mean, I don't personally know off the top of my head, but that's a great avenue. I know there's a rock climbing club. I'm not sure if you're interested in that, but we do offer that club. Sailing club. Sailing Sailing club. Yes. Triathlon club if you really are. There we go. And it doesn't necessarily even have to be like an organized club. I mean, we can get together with a bunch of of friends. I know um, for my fraternity, we have eight by sport Fridays where we just go down to lower and we just do like a bunch of different uh, sports, whether it's spike ball, whipple ball, um, and a whole bunch. Speaking of spike ball, um, like can gym, spike yeah. ball, huge um, on campus, frisbee, yeah. what's uh, cornhole, cornhole. Those are big uh, activities yeah. on campus that students love to take on nice days to, to either an athletic field to uh, to one of the G, like green, green spaces space. or G spaces. Um, but yeah. Also, that's a really good point. The spike ball, right? That's actually an example of a student organization that um, was went through the application process and became a club. So that's an example of one of them, just so that you guys know. The green space is your friend, though, at the end of the day. So. <laughs> what is the average time it takes to get from one end of the campus to the other? Uh, do you mean from upper to lower? Well, we can go over all of them. So yeah. when you're on upper in an academic building, I would say the longest it's taken me is six to seven minutes yeah, from like, I guess from the Adami building till say the Jenison building, because that's pretty much across campus up there. Yeah. To go like up and down campus, um, personally for me, it takes me around like five minutes to go from lower campus to like the student center. So that's the middle part of campus. And then another five minutes to go from middle campus to um, upper campus. I would like personally I would plan for maybe uh, an extra five minutes just in case you find a friend and you start talking to them or yeah. if you uh, d- realize you have to pick up a package um, charging through the snow charging through the snow yeah <laughs> definitely plan for more time there 15 but, minutes I'd say yeah 15 minutes follow up to that question do you recommend bringing a bike no. <laughs> I, I'm not bringing it. I'm not bike. I mean, I, I've seen, seen people have used it and they've loved it. Um, I don't see anything. Why? It's just the storage might be tough for your first year. Yeah. Um, because you're not going to have too much space in your, in your dorm and you want to make sure that you also have a spot to put it outside as well. Um, Bentley is also located on a hill. Um, so unless you want to fire a leg workout every <laughs> single day, maybe you should bring your bike. But um, I mean, I've seen people use them. I just don't really think it's that. Um, but if you want to bring a bike to maybe venture into Moody Street or Main yeah. Street in Waltham, I would definitely suggest that. Um, it's a great way to try uh, to kind of use transportation in a different way. And then we have our final question for the webinar. Um, what is each of your favorite things about Bentley? Oh, oh, that's, a oh that's, a, that's a good one. Um, I fell in love with Bentley when I actually was here and i was like living and breathing being a falcon um it sounds cheesy but the atmosphere here is pretty awesome um everyone's willing to lend out a helping hand whenever you need it professors staff members your teammates your your classmates your resident neighbors like whatever the case may be um that's personally what i love is that like and i'm also able to get involved with whatever i want to and have the freedom to do so yeah um i think my favorite thing is that students are not afraid to ask for help and help other students Um, So, for example, like in class, if um, you you think you need help with something, um, feel free to reach out to your classmates and ask them for help because they will be more than willing to meet up with you like offline or like outside of class. And just seeing that uh, from all the students on campus is really, really nice. Um, For me, I'd say it's the the we versus I attitude. Um, I think if you look at some other institutions, it's a lot of individual oriented, but really here at Bentley, it's, it's we. Um, I, Tyler talked about it in the group projects, but even outside of that, um, we really are focused on helping out each other and no one's ever gonna not lend you a helping hand. Um, it's a very kind and caring community and everyone's always trying to push you up rather than put you down. Yeah, and I would say just all the opportunities to get involved and then uh, going a step further, not just sticking to the clubs, but also hanging out with those people outside, whether it's volleyball, API, Italian society, just always having someone there and everybody's always nice here so yeah we uh appreciate you all coming and watching our live chat um feel free to reach out to us if you have further questions or if we didn't answer something to uh how you wanted to hear if we need clarification on something yeah also follow our instagram it's a great way to keep up to date with everything that we have up um also download the yap app and we're so pumped for you all to come it's less than or just over two weeks, 15 oh days. Wow. Woo. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys thank so you much for that. watching and we will see you on campus. See you soon. Bye. Bye guys. Uh...
Great. <laughs> what was it?